breaking news. Drudge Report is reporting right now that they have decided on what to do about their hemorrhaging 8 p.m. hour, formerly occupied by Tucker Carlson, that they will be moving Sean Hannity, currently at 9, into the 8 o'clock slot, and that they will then keep uh, Jesse Waters in the prime time, which I believe means he'll move to either 9 or 10, as opposed to staying at 7, and that Greg Gutfeld will also head to prime time. Greg Gutfeld is now an 11. It's not really considered prime. Prime is really 8, 9, and 10, so presumably they're talking about moving him. If that's true, one wonders what's happening to Laura Ingram, who's currently at 10. They reached out to Fox, the folks at Mediaite, and um, they said, quote, no decision's been made on a new primetime lineup, and there are multiple scenarios under consideration. But I can tell you, having worked there, that Drudge always has the leaks on the lineup changes there. He certainly had the one when I moved to primetime long before anybody else did, and he's got impeccable sources inside the building. So I'd be surprised if he were wrong. Um, they need to do something. I will submit for the record, this isn't it. This is not it. Um they need a voice like Tucker's. If you like, and even that's probably not going to do it because the audience is very angry and they miss Tucker. But Hannity is not the answer at eight. He's not the answer at eight. He hasn't been the answer at nine lately since Tucker left. We've been following the ratings. Um, they're hemorrhaging at eight and nine. We're currently as uh, Sean Wright is right uh, right now. And just by way of numbers, in the we we now have it up to four weeks. The four weeks prior to Tucker's departure, he was averaging a three point three million in the overall. Now it's less than half. They're averaging 1.5 million. Um, so less than half than what Tucker got. He was averaging a 429,000 in the demo, 25 to 54 year olds. They're now pulling in 152,000 in that time slot. And Hannity's not much better. He's at 158,000 in the demo, down about half from 308,000. Uh, and his overall is down significantly too. All double digit falls. So, you know, the audience will have the last say on whether these are the solutions, but right now they're still very, very angry at Fox News, and Fox hasn't done much to assuage their concerns or make them feel better about firing their top star who remains under contract but silenced. Um, that is, of course, Tucker Carlson. So more on that as we get it. 